Almost the Film Doctor. We are here reviewing some of the best films ever. Without further ado, let's jump right into our movie review. <laughs> Another M. Night Shyamalan Shalate. You know what? He's one of my favorite directors. I get his name wrong every single time. Uh, M. Night. We're gonna say another movie by M. Night. Woo! Knock at the cabin. <sighs> this story was, uh, I, I don't want to say that it's unique or that it's special, but it was definitely different, you know? All of his movies are, are movies that have some type of weird storyline that have this amazing ending. And I won't say that, or you know, big ending. I won't say amazing because a lot of people didn't like movies like Lady in the Water or The Village. And, and for me, he has a unique style, a different style. Not every movie has to follow a formula or a timeline. He tells his stories however he wants to tell his story. And we go out and we pay our money to see it because whatever he does inside the trailer is like, bro, what the fuck is this about? And too many people see trailers and they're just like, uh, they feel like they've seen the whole movie inside of this trailer. You don't get that when you know that an M. Night movie is coming out and I think that's what captivates and brings people into wanting to see his movies. Now this movie had Batista, star Batista, Rupert Grant, anybody that hears that name may not know who he is, but it's the little boy from Spy Kids, okay? Growing up, he's married to Megan Trainor. Little, little tidbit, people don't really know that. Um, but this movie was good. I mean, I think that the acting was, um, was different for those two characters that I named. For people that we know, being Batista from Drax and, and Rupert Grant from Spy Kids, it was different acting that I think sold very well. This crazy, sadistic um, uh, four individuals that just walk up into this person's home like, knock, knock, knock at the cabin, knock. They just walked up in there like, hey, you got beef up in here? I'm not beef. Hey, what the fuck is you typing for, Keisha? We thugs, we can't be on no TV. Shut up, Ray Ray. Okay, sorry. So what's going on with this beef, homie? It's that old bitch next door, ain't it, homie? But how you just gonna walk up in somebody's house like that? That's craziness to me. They walked up in there and basically they were telling this, this couple and their daughter that they had to make a choice and that it would impact the entire world and all this crazy wild roller coaster shit started happening. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna even get too deep into the story. Um, but it, it was these four individuals, we're, we're gonna call them miscreants. Now, miscreants? <laughs> yeah, I said it, I said it. A bunch of miscreants came up into this house and just started unleashing craziness to this family. I think that um, as far as the acting, like I said, it's sold for those characters, for all the characters, even the people that we didn't know. I don't think that we need to put a big blockbuster uh, name or two as the, the dad couple or whatever like they were no names to me i'm sure if you google them you'd be like oh so and so was a supporting character in this whatever the case may be the music the suspenseful music really added a, a feel of an, and a tone to the movie that made you enjoy it um the cinematography i think that he he does a good um he has a good way of capturing different moments and different things, you know, different angles like the grasshopper and, and it hopping around and everything. And I'm trying to think of other certain particular points that come to mind, especially without giving it away, you know, especially, ooh, that's gonna give it away. But when certain events would happen and he would turn the camera away, but you know that action is going in uh, uh, behind what you can't see, we'll say, is the better way of, of putting it. I guess when you see it, you'll understand a little bit more of what I'm saying. Um, and the story, like I said, the story was definitely something that's different, but all of his stories, I think he gives a lot of time to it to try and put forth a story that has not been done. And I think that that's what I appreciate with him. It's not a buddy cop. It's not, oh, this is a serial killer again, and this is the 10th thousand serial killer movie that we've seen i mean it's definitely a story that's always unique and for for that reason alone i give him a lot of credit now i know a lot of people are going to see his movie 
and then judge it based on some of the other movies. Nah, I don't want to see that. Did you see Lady in the Water? Did you see uh, Old? Did you see uh, this, that, and the other? Like, whatever the case may be, whatever movie that you didn't like of his, and then that's going to cause you to judge this one. But I think that for what it's worth, you have to look at it as a film. Take him out as the director. Does that change your outlook on it? And I try to make, as a film doctor, I try and make sure that you guys that you have a different way of looking at film as well so that you can kind of be on the same page because what I would give this as a grade is different than what I would give it as a grade here on Film Attic because the grades that I give here on Film Attic are going to be those grades that I think that you as the people that come here onto this channel and watch this channel would see that the majority would see that movie to be. <clears throat> Speaking of saying see how that would be, <laughs> I would say that I give this movie a B rating. I think that some people might give it a B minus. And I think that that, like I said, will be because they prejudge it based on other movies. Or maybe there is something in there that throws it off. But at the end of the day, I think to myself, what in this movie could have made it better? Is it the storytelling behind the four individuals and wanting to know more? They did give some stuff, but why focus a lot of the time that wasn't the main focus on the story? How some of these things happen and blah, 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 and yada, yada. They wanted more. I, I can see probably wanting more explanation, but is that really reason enough to give it a C or anything in the C range? I don't know what would make it an A range. You know, I, <clears throat> not everybody has to be Daniel Day Lewis or, or Denzel Washington to sell uh, this great acting performance. I think for what it was worth, Batista did a good job. Rupert Grant did a good job. Everybody did a good job that I don't know their names. But. I'm going to give it a B. I'm going to give it a solid B because I think, I think that that's what it was worth. I won't say average and I'm not going to say amazing, but I will say that it's a movie I would watch again. Because for me, I, especially with this movie, I want to see if I can catch something else. There are meanings and messages to this movie. And I think that that meaning or message can be different to everybody that sees it. Could it be something about world love? Could it be something about world sacrifice and sacrificing for world love? Or how we need to be better? Or how we need to do for others and, and be self, uh, selfless instead of selfish? Uh, there are so many different things that you could take away from this outside of just, is it a good movie? Did it, was it something that uh, was thrilling enough for me to watch in life? Other than that, I think that it was a good movie, and like I said, I will see it again. Put it in the comments, let me know what you guys think. But as always, let's just jump right into telling you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell, do all that jazz. Send up some smoke signals, put a little message inside of the bottle, throw it in the water. Let it reach our shores. You can see I'm still sick from before, but that's not going to stop me. And as always, this has been another exciting episode for you, miscreants of Filmatic. Miscreants, they call me just African-American.